Hi guys, I have another Copic coloring and card tutorial for you today. Today I'm coloring Kitty Hopper by Some Odd Girl. I really like these stamps, they are very fun to color, they are roundish and cutish and yeah, I really, really like them. And I think this is a very cute image. I am coloring the kitty in the warm greys. And I will go back and forth between the darker and the lighter to kind of build up the dimension that I want to. But I am going to leave you here with some music and you're going to watch me color. And then I'll be back when I start putting the card together. Today we are going to cut out our image with these square Simon Says Stamp stitch border dies. But it's not going to be a square image. As you see here, I'm actually hanging that little square on the side of the image, which makes it cut only halfway, which makes it possible to then line up the die on the upper side, opposite direction and tape that down with some tape and run it through again now with it hanging over um, just where the other cut came up to. So I'm gonna just wave it through my die cutting machine and you'll see I have cut out a rectangular because the rectangulars I had were a little bit too long also. So that made it a perfect size for that image. Now I'm going to cut up some papers. I am using the My Mind's Eye Collectible Notable paper pack and what, what draw, drew me to that paper pack was those flowers because I kind of thought they fitted perfectly with a kitty and a grasshopper. I am building up all of these layers uh, to fit on an A2 card base. The only thing is uh, in the end this is not going to be an A2 card base. Yeah, we are going to do some card surgery a little bit later. But I am uh, cutting down all of the layers and all the mattings are always one eighth of an inch bigger than the pattern papers. And that will leave me uh, with a sixteenth of an inch border. I kind of like that. The cardstock that I'm using is the Simon Says Stamp Sunshine cardstock. Now we're going to put a sentiment together. I'm going to use three different uh, sentiments from three different stamp sets. And it's going to be, say, always forever stronger together. Because when I saw the stronger together, that was kind of what I got in my head. So I'm starting by um, positioning this in the middle of that cardstock. Still uh, the sunshine cardstock. Then I'm using Forever from a, another Simon Says Stamp uh, stamp set and I'm having that centered over the Stronger Together. 
and at the end I'm going to use this always thinking of you and doing some selective inking of that stamp so I all only get the always. Then I'm cutting that down to a little strip um, of paper and then I, I thought my kind of cards idea was ready so I'm layering all the different layers together uh, first the mats with the pattern papers and then I'm gonna layer the images and this was basically the card I had in mind from the beginning and if I had stayed to that idea that actually might have worked but um, yeah sometimes you start with something and then you kind of need to change it all yeah um, I am layering though uh, all these papers with some uh, vertical paper at the bottom and this is to kind of ground that image even though it's already grounded with a, a grass underneath the paws I wanted it to be a little bit more grounded this is where I get a little bit stupid because I decided I wanted to have some sort of flagged ends and that really didn't work out so I ended up with this really really small sentiment and I kind of liked it sitting there so I just um, put a some uh, foam on it and I put it down and then I looked at the card and I'm yeah and what am I supposed to fill out that top with it's very bottom heavy so this is when I'm doing my card surgery started taking a the Tim Holtz ruler and I'm actually just cutting through the pattern paper only I'm not cutting through the cardstock so that I then can go in underneath and just pry up, up this paper the glue I'm using is very very strong so it kind of rips the cardstock but it didn't rip those six that 16 of an inch that I want to have a border so I'm just gonna position that ruler 16th of an inch from the edge of the pattern paper and there you have it you have a much smaller card I'm doing exactly the same with the inside panel and the panel actually ends up measuring four and an eighth which is exactly the same as the width of the card so it becomes a pretty nice square card I measured that a little bit on that cardstock and now I'm gonna cut down my already me already made card base so I'm cutting that down to four and a quarter so I have a four and a quarter by four and a quarter card base and then I just layering my panels on top of that so even though I kind of messed up making my card I kind of like how it ended up being so that's a tip if you make something that doesn't really feel right you can always go in and change it pry things cut things off or similar but yeah that is the card for today i hope you liked it if you do please thumbs it up it means a lot to me uh, if you have any questions just comment down below down below you can find all the details of the card and you find a link to my blog uh, there are also lists of all the materials and everything so thank you so much for watching i see you later bye